We're going to have a good time. Hi guys, Todd here. Now, unusually, we are starting off down here. Uh, and the reason for this is I just want to get right into this rather than me blethering nonsense as usual. Uh, today we are going to be looking at the Vape Snail uh, by Atmazoo. Now, a little story for you before we get going. Uh, this is a billet box. Now, uh, for those of you that don't know what a billet box is, it's a regulated device. Uh, you can get this as a DNA60 Rev4 version. And the way this works is that you have a thing called a borrow tank that normally sits inside there. You will get something like this, which is a, a rebuildable atomizer or a bridge. And this is the vape shell that is also by Atmazoo. And this has been out for quite some time. So basically you would just put your coil in there uh, and then you put this back together with your cotton inside. Then you then put this inside here, fill it full of juice, pop it in there and then you would vape away. One of the downsides to this was that um, to fill it with juice, you slide down this glass panel here and fill it up. But if you ever want to access your coil, you have to drain all the juice out of the tank first. And as much as I love my billet box on borrow tank devices, because this will fit in other devices, it is a messy affair. Uh, and anybody that has a borrow tank will, will tell you the same thing, or a billet box, I should say. Now, um, we do have this little uh, doohickey thing here. This is the dot shell. This is what Atmazoo came out with for the, the dot AIO. And, and basically, the main difference with this was that you could actually pull out your deck, but yet still leave all the juice inside the tank, uh, which was a great idea. It really was a great idea. Uh, but this obviously only fits inside a dot AIO. What we now have is this here. And this is the Vape Snail. Price-wise for this, I think it's going to be about 130 euros, uh, which is, and just to give you a, like, a comparison on that, I mean, you are for a uh, a borrow tank, you're usually looking about £40, and for a, a vape shell, you're usually looking about £60. So that's how much it costs for that. Uh, this is going to be about €130. Euros. Inside, when you open it up, you'll get your usual Atmazoo. You'll have a serial number here, uh, and this will be on the device as well. And you can see in the back, it's a warranty and authenticity card also. You will get a manual with yours. Uh, I have a digital copy of the manual here, but uh, this is it, the vape snail. Now what I'll be doing during this is rather than uh, just talking, uh, I, I will put up uh, pictures and uh, specs for reducers and mouth to lung inserts and things like that. Uh, but it all comes with it, which is great. But this is the device here. And once again, much like the, the for the, the dot .AIO, you can see here that I can grab this, pull it out, we have my deck, I can still leave all the juice inside this tank. And this tank is made from PCTG, so it should be resilient to tank cracking juices. But I'll pop that back together just quickly, and I'll just run through what is in the box. A little packet with spare O-rings, a sticker, a little baggie with spare gaskets as well, and uh, post screws. Uh, these are like, uh, what can I call them? There's probably, I should really read the manual one of these days uh, and uh, get the official name, but uh, they're almost like, can I call them condensation? Soaker uppers? <laughs> <laughs> plugs if you want but uh, you get these these actually live in here uh, now I'll, I'll cover this more at the end and talk about condensation and things like that but the way this works is it just sits you don't have to use it but um, it will sit on here and you can see here that your air is coming in from the side here uh, because those of you that use billet boxes will know you can see here that's where your air comes in from a billet box uh, so the air still goes in there no problem but if you get any condensation uh, coming down from the bottom here then this little guy here will soak a lot of it up um, 
it's not going to soak everything up but through the, the life of a, a tank say going through one tank yeah it can soak up a fair bit uh, you do get the spare ones here but I found that just getting a little bit of blue roll and then just padding this and it soaks all the moisture back out of this thing and it's clever it's, it's a nice touch uh, so yes that's something you get included you do get uh, a little doodah here uh, you can if you want to dry burn your coil or pulse your coil when you're doing your build you'll use this device here and I'll show you that in a second and you also get this little tool here and you'll see how that works you also get uh, tubes uh, airflow tubes and, and I'll just pop one of these out just now here just now and you can see that, that they are all different sizes so you can reduce the airflow by using these. Now the key thing here is that you can use these on the fly. Uh, you access them from below the coil so you don't actually interrupt your vaping at all, you don't drain the tank of juice, you don't mess about with the coil, uh, you can do it all from underneath and this is one of the big positives for this device. You also get mouth to lung inserts here yeah that's one 1.2 1 1.5 and i think that's 1.8 if my eyesight is playing ball so a thumbs up the fact that all this is included and all the airflow sizes and specs will be on the screen just now so you know exactly what you're getting but the fact that it's included is another thumbs up from me now the tank itself uh just taking this to bits here i can then pop this out like that and you will see that we have at Mizzou we have a serial number on here double o-rings at the top uh, the deck we'll come back to in a second uh, one thing I want to make very very clear it does state this in the manual uh, do not mess about or open the fill plug here don't open it if the tank is outside the device so if this is not in here don't pop that open because there is a chance that you could then pop it out of there and it's an absolute pain in the backside trying to get in uh, so yeah they do clarify that in the manual uh, you can also see we have Atmazoo written on the side here uh, capacity wise you are looking about 4 to 4.5 mil of juice now I think the official word is 4.5 um, me personally I, I, I would probably just say 4 mil uh, that is mainly because if you brim it, if you squeeze as much juice in here as you can, the same as like an RTA, I mean you can create an airlock and uh, end up getting dry hits, uh, or I have found that, so I tend to only put about 4mm in it now, just leave a little bit of space and I've not had any issues. A little party piece that this section has going on, uh, where you can see here that we have quite a narrow bore, the dimensions will be on the screen, however what you can do is if I just have a little poke in there, this will come out like that and then, then you have a thicker bore or a wider bore uh, so if you're going for direct lung and possibly restricted direct lung then I would leave this out uh, personally I think this is more for a mouth to lung but the way they've done it the design on this is pretty darn clever now let's just say we have a coil in the deck just now and uh, we're wicking away and we've got juice in the tank uh, once again you can just pull this out and turn this here and leave it and you can have your juice sitting in there. Now if you want to mess about with anything you have your little airflow tubes underneath. You then grab your tool uh, and that just sits on there like that. I'm just going to give that a spin and again I can then get in there with my fingers pull that out and this is the, the biggest so if you want all the air under the sun this is what you're going to use if you want to reduce the airflow then you can use one of these bad boys here one of these four here if you want to use one of the mouth to lung ones I should say it's going to go inside this one here so if I wanted to go 1.8 there's a 1.8 insert it'll just sit in there like that I can then just screw that back in remember you're not touching the coil uh, and you're not affecting the juice and there you go you've reduced the airflow straight to the coil and just taking this out just now just get my nail in there and it just pulls out no problem 
If you do want to take this even further to bits, you can remove the, the positive post just by unscrewing this peak insulator here. Take that out and then your positive post will lift out and you can lift out the, the insulator there also. But yeah, we'll just throw this back together. If you ever get issues with uh, your resistance on your coil, uh, then check this because make sure that you've tightened it down fully. Uh, there we go, just nipped it up. And I'm an idiot. I shouldn't have done that. Um, I'm gonna take this out just now because we're gonna be putting in a coil and uh, uh, basically I, I need the other doodah. Uh, if you don't know what a doodah is, don't worry. This is a doodah. Uh, so you can see we've got a 510 thread on the bottom of here. If I just pop this on here just now, I can screw that down tighten it off so then you go we've got a little 510 base I can pop my coil in and I can dry burn it and pulse it now in here you're going to get I mean look at the space there you've got a fair bit of space going on there uh, you get a 3 mil in there no problem at all do you know you probably get a 3.5 in there just measuring across and it's yeah it's coming out just over 7 mil across there the main difference you have here for a vape shell uh, regarding builds is is the way it wicks um, you can see it's coming through here whereas you had with the vape shell and I'll just show you this here the vape shell was grabbing the juice from the base uh, but this is coming in here you will still get all the juice out of the tank don't worry about that uh, you can basically vape it dry uh, but yeah we'll just throw a coil in here so just back these screws off they, they are uh, Phillips screws or pan heads whatever you want to call them uh, and they're a nice length that's another thumbs up as far as I'm concerned you can back them off a fair old bit uh, so you can get thicker wire in there you don't have to worry about them shaking all over the place uh, the wire is going to get trapped in there it's not going to like it's not going to get spat out or anything like that so yeah it's done quite well and it works well with mouth to lung coils as well this um, it is a good mouth to lung vape for this one PC coils as usual uh, and we are going for an alien a 0 0.4 3 mil ID full NI80 you'll also see here that we have slots here and a slot here so you can raise uh, rest your coiling rod in there and this, God, it's such an easy one to build on this thing, but I'll just throw this in here. You can see here that I've been able to screw this onto a mod. Uh, I've test fired it, I've pulsed it, and it's just, yeah, everything I need. So here comes the fun part. Uh, <laughs> when I say the fun part, I actually struggled with this. I'll be honest. Um, at first, I did struggle with the wicking on this. Uh, I have had no issues with vape shells, dot snails or whatever from Atmazoo. Uh, I've always managed to get it right straight off the bat. Uh, but this one I did struggle at first. Uh, but it was just, yeah, as always with these things, um, it was me, not the device. The way I'm going to show you how I wick here just now, uh, this is the way I've been doing it for every build now and it's given me no problems. It's very technical, you may want to pay attention to this, <laughs> but basically uh, you can see the edge running around here. So I just grab my scissors and cut. That, that, that's it, that's kind of all I do. <laughs> it's not it's not very scientific I know I apologize if you were expecting something amazing to happen there uh, depending how thick the cotton is as well I usually give it a tiny little just a little snip up the edge here as well almost like a 45 degree cut just up there and and, and that's me that's how I've been putting my cotton in just going to put some juice on this just now before I actually tuck the cotton in and then just kind of like fold the cotton down uh, you'll, have, you'll, have, you'll have done this on many other devices I'm sure uh, can just fold it down and this isn't the really this isn't really the important part uh, but just folding it down into the hole there uh, you want to look inside here and make sure that the cotton is touching the base uh, you don't want to leave it open if you leave it open anywhere if it's not touching the base then it will flood uh, but you also want to make sure that you've not jam pack the cotton in there if you do pack your cotton in there you will have wicking issues just make sure that you keep all the cotton uh, you know in this channel here and that's it 
So unscrew my 510 base, put my air tube back in. Once again, I'm going for the, the widest one here. I'm going for the most air you can get through this. Nip it up with a little tool. I better put this back in. Uh, at Mizzou, have that facing up the way towards the fill plug. It's just a handy reference point. It just pushes in there like that. Then take this and just pop it in. I'm going to grab this and then pop that on there. Remember that you want to, you know, your open slot on this little gasket should be facing out the way. Then going to drop this into my billet box, fill plug up, and uh, then I'm just gonna pop in some Regency Carmen. Uh, and that'll be me, good to go. And once again, I would say you're getting between four and 4.5 mil in this. Battery in, uh, that back on, and then I'll put it in my little heart leathercraft sleeve, and that's me, ready to go for a vape. So once again, I've got a full NI80 Alien in here, a three millimeter inner diameter, 0 0.4 ohm, and um, I'm going to be vaping this at my usual for this, about 25 to 30 watts, uh, 25 watts to start off with. This is the most air you can get through this device. Now remember, I'm using the, the air tube is the, the most open one, and also I've taken out the, the insert from the chimney, so, all the air you can get and that's through a billet box which is yes never have thought I would get that through a billet box before I mean I get a lot of air through my Zeta as well but it's on par with that and yeah, it's it, this is very good. This is this is very good. I, I, I will. There's there's things I want to say about this to clarify. Uh, no matter how you vape, uh, mouth to lung, restricted direct lung, direct lung. It'll cover all the bases. Uh, yes, it's uh, one mil is the smallest insert if I remember right, uh, but it is it, it's a mouth to lung. It's a nice tight mouth to lung. It's not a 0 0.8, uh, but I do believe that it will keep the vast majority of mouth-to-lung vapors happy. I really do. Uh, and I enjoy the mouth-to-lung vape from this a lot. I can't fault this for flavor. I can't fault it for building on. It's really, really easy. Um, everything comes to bits as it should. Uh, you have the tool there. Uh, you have that little do that, um, you know, if you want to pulse the coil, which you should always do, um, and then you have the little condensation plug thing that, you know, that's going to soak up any condensation on the base. Um, the, the, everything's included. Uh, it, it's, it's, yep. Yeah, now, two thumbs up. I really do think it's, they've done an excellent job in this. Now, once again, the flavour is great. Covers all the draws. But one thing I want to make clear, you can take the base out and leave all the juice in the tank. That for borrow tank users is great news. It really is great. Uh, it, it takes the, the messiness out of what billet box users have been putting up with for years. Um, also, you can change your airflow and your inserts on the fly, uh, which is another good thing. If you, when I vape with a billet box, um, the way I vape, uh, I always get condensation at the back of the billet box. I always have, it, it's, it's always been a thing for me. I always, so if you're like me and you get condensation at the, the back of your uh, borrow tank on here, you will still get that. Uh, you will still get that. It, it doesn't uh, mysteriously stop any condensation appearing. Uh, I get just as much condensation on the back of the tank with this as I do with my regular borrow tanks. Um, the little filter, shall we call it, the little plug at the base does help with that area down there. But yeah, it's just something that billet box users live with. It's as simple as that. Uh, but um, in my experience, it, it's not any better or any worse than a standard borrowed tank 
for condensation. So you still need your wellies. Um, I'm going to have another vape. I, I, I will say the wicking is, it caught me off guard. It's, it's, it's so easy to do, uh, but for some reason I was, um, I was using more cotton and, and just, just trying to be clever. Uh, but at the end of the day, I just cut it around the outside edge, fold it down a little bit and, and just make sure that it's covering that wicking hole, but it's not jammed in there. If, if you jam it in there, you'll cut the flow off and you'll get nothing but dry hits. Uh, also, once again, uh, it's 4 to 4.5 mil of juice. Uh, I usually end up about, it's probably about 4 mil I put in it. Um, if you fill it too much, you'll also possibly have airflow issues or, or air locks and you may get dry hits. But that applies to anything uh, tank-wise. I'm recording this on the 19th of February. This should go up for sale on the Atmazoo website on the 20th, tomorrow or today if you're watching this or possibly whenever. Uh, I, once again, I think the price is going to be about 130 euros. I've had this for a week, two weeks now. Um, I did a, 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 a I showed it off in my Facebook group. Uh, I have been doing mouth to lung builds with it. I've been doing restricted lung builds and direct lung builds. And yes, excellent bit of kit. Um, excellent bit of kit. And that's it. That's all I've got for you. Uh, obviously there will be other reviews from other reviewers. Uh, if you're in any doubt, then maybe hold off and wait for other reviews before you go and purchase it. Uh, but I, I thoroughly enjoy it. Anyway, Thank you to Atmazoo as always for sending this on. I got it free to review and to show off to you. And until next time, bye for now.